That's right, today we're talking about how to charge your iPad faster. There are actual tips that you can use in your daily routine to have your iPad sustain the battery life as well as charge it faster. So let's not waste any time, let's begin. So the first thing you gotta know is which charger to actually use. Please do not be using this five watt charger. This is made for your iPhone and it's not made for the iPad because the iPads have bigger batteries and this is not gonna charge it fast. This is gonna be painfully slow and honestly, you should never, never use this. So don't even worry about that one. Right here are the chargers that you should be using with your iPad. This right here is what came with your iPad, I'm assuming. If you have the Pro, you got this one. Anyways, this is 10 to 12 watts. Um, there's a couple different versions out there with 10 or 12. Apple official charger, you can use any charger really though. This is just gonna give you a higher wattage and it comes with your iPad, it's made for your iPad and it's gonna charge it faster. And if you want even more charge, this right here is the 20 watt USB-C charging brick. So it's ultimately gonna give you a faster charge with any iPad you own. All right, here we are, we're gonna plug the iPad in. Now that it's charging, we're going to swipe down to the control center and here's what we're gonna do. Tap airplane mode, turn that on. It's going to turn off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything. So you can't really use your iPad other than doing a few games, maybe, possibly. And that's what you're gonna end up doing. But what it does is it turns off everything in the background and it's gonna focus on charging. That's ultimately gonna help you charge your iPad faster. You know, you might end up waiting 15, 30 minutes, but it's really gonna help your iPad get a faster charge. Now, in addition to that feature, leave your iPad alone because ultimately that's gonna help you gain power faster because you're not lighting up the display, you're not giving it, you know, stuff to do. So the processor can calm down and the battery can accelerate. Now having lower brightness is definitely going to help as well. You know, ultimately it just doesn't light up the display. You know, it's cool to have brightness, but you know, turn it down if you want to save power. You also have low power mode on your iPad, something that Apple just recently brought to iPad OS 15. It's low power mode. So if you don't have it, you just need to go to the control center, uh, you know, settings and add low power mode, it'll be down right here. Hit the plus, bada bing, bada boom. You got low power mode on your iPad. It seems to work pretty well. I haven't used it extensively, but I've used it, you know, just every now and then, and it seems to help a lot. All right, here we are with a bonus tip. If you got an iPhone, this will also work. So plug in your iPhone, airplane mode, and turn your iPhone off. Bada bing, bada boom, you have your iPhone charging faster as well. This works on your iPad, your iPhone, pretty much everything. Airplane mode, it's the way to go. So I sure hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to drop a like as it seriously lets me and other people know that this video was really helpful. You can comment your thoughts down below, let people know your experience as well as me. You know, did this actually help you? We wanna know. And kind of on the same topic about, you know, your iPad's battery, you wanna know your iPad battery health? Check out this video right here on the screen. It'll go into detail and show you how to check your iPad's battery health. Check it out and I'll see you guys over there.